What's it like to be in the fourth, fifth, or sixth grade right now? Um, and Black Lives Matter riots are celebrated as peaceful protests. I wonder what message actually trickles down to grade school kids that all this is, is beautiful and white supremacy is everywhere, right? You've heard the lies. What impact does that have at the grammar school level? Well, take a look at this. At one grammar school in Springfield, Ohio, uh, it's hard to tell exactly what's going on, but we've been able to piece it together. A number of black students were bullying, reportedly, white students into getting on their knees and chanting, Black Lives Matter. Uh, I've actually seen similar situations in the adult world, believe it or not, but this is happening with children. Uh, we're joined now by Ashley Henthorne and Ryan Springer, uh, both parents of their son, Tyler, six, in sixth grade. He's 12 years old. And we hear he was bullied into chanting Black Lives Matter by other students. Welcome to the show. How are you both? Fine. How are you? I'm terrific. Great. How are you? Thanks for being here. How's your son? Uh, and what kind of what kind of experiences was for him? Was it traumatizing? Tell us what happened, if you don't mind. Okay. So he said that day he was back there in the field behind the swing set. He was playing with another student that he's been friends with since first grade. Um, there was two girls that approached him, grabbed him by both of his arms, forced him over to that side of the playground. Um, the boys that were waiting on them forced him to his knees um, and made him say Black Lives Matter before they let them get up. That's, uh, that's pretty crazy. Let me ask you, sir, I mean... <laughs> You know, this is happening in society at large. Who do you blame here? I mean, this is obviously bullying, terrible behavior. It shouldn't be happening. The kids bear some responsibility for this. But uh, what about, you know, the media and Democrats and government yelling and screaming oh. about racial justice all the time? Yes, yep. most definitely a lot of a lot of media is very poisonous to kids these ages that are at this age. Um, social media is very poisonous to their minds. They're exposed to a lot when they're when they can just freely surf the internet or some of these social media um, sites just freely. But um, you know, even even in white, even with even it don't really matter. Even with a lot of white children, children of all races, a lot of hate like this too also comes from the home it's um they reflect on how on what they see their parents do or how they see parents treat each other but um a, a, a lot of a lot of behavior like this does come from i think where kids are just can openly have social media is like you know they have a lot of those tiktok challenges sure. that go around and it just, it leads to kids just getting in trouble. Okay, we have a comment, if you don't mind, I want to play this, sir. It's from uh, Denise Williams, president of the NAACP in Springfield, Ohio. Uh, take a look at this. I need to know what really is the problem. And I, I want to make sure that the children involved rights are protected. Uh, it sounded somewhat conciliatory. Uh, the school, I hear, has apologized. They don't like what happened. They're trying to say this could be a teachable moment. Tell us a little bit more, Ashley, about the reaction of the authorities, and are they adequately addressing what happened, in your opinion? Okay, so the principal did apologize. Um, he did seem sincere. Um, we haven't heard anything from the Springfield City School District. Um, apologetic. Um, we haven't had any of the other parents that um, their kids um, did this to our children. They haven't reached out and apologized either. Um, the children themselves haven't apologized to our children. Um, the detectives in the juvenile system, they seem to be um, investigating it thoroughly from my from what my understanding. Um, 
But as for what the prosecutor is going to do, I guess we just have to wait and see. Now, listen, I've been uh, I was bullied a little bit and I also was at times a bully myself. And there was pushing and there was shoving and there were some bad things that happened uh, in playgrounds. It happens. Yeah. Do you think um, either one of you, but Ryan, like, you know, if, if, if it weren't for the racial component here, uh, this wouldn't be such a big deal. I mean, it doesn't there were no limbs were broken, no serious uh, uh, injuries. Yeah. Go ahead. I mean, it is a big deal because we're not upset that our about our child saying black lives matter because, you know, everyone's life does matter no matter what race they are. It's America. We all have the same freedoms. We all have the same opportunities. It just depends on how you as a person take the opportunities that that you have in life. We're more upset about the bullying part of it, the, the kids being assaulted by not just one child, but, you know, Six. this was a whole group of children. And if this was vice versa, you know, if these were white kids doing this to black kids, they, they'd already been charged Before with hate down. crimes. You know, our, our, our city would probably been burnt down. The school would be tore up. There is a total double standard. We've seen it, and uh, it's kind of heartbreaking. And uh, last thing, and I only got a, a five seconds, any word that the kids have somehow reached an understanding that they're doing better in school, or is there, is there still real tension, you know, between, the, between uh, well, the black kids um, and the, the white kids? The kids that are responsible for the behavior uh, have been removed from, yep. from the class. We don't know if they're just suspended for the moment or if they've been expelled, but they have been removed from um, school at yeah. this time. Well, when toxic lies are just percolating throughout society, it's no huge surprise that they would find their way into uh, a middle school and infect the minds of innocent kids. Uh, I'm yeah, sorry. That, yeah. Yep. And, yeah, we got to figure out how to overcome this, like, Oh, just yeah. all the hate for each other has got to it's, it's got to change. We all got to coexist together. Yes. And maybe maybe we could all talk about God a little bit more. You know, we could do so much and there's so yeah. much there. Absolutely. Ashley and Ryan, we thank you. Uh, give our best to your little guy, Tyler, and we'll be right back. Thank you. Thank you.